Bearman uh, back with a video about how to set up Find My iPhone on your Apple portable devices. I cannot stress enough how useful this app is. Um, I'll probably use it two or three times a week, um, either to find my iPhone, my wife's iPhone, my son's iPod. Um, I even used it to find um, the devices I'm using for this uh, video. Uh, so I hope it helps. Here it goes. First thing we need to do is set up a mobile me account. This account will be free, um, but you have to set it up on an iPhone 4. So if you don't have an iPhone 4, you can borrow one from a friend, um, or if that's not possible, you can even go to the Apple Store and set up the account, the mobile me account, on the demo iPhone that's there. Um, the reason you can do this is because you're going to create the account and then you're going to turn around and delete it. It just has to be created on an iPhone 4. Either on your iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4 that you borrowed, uh, select Settings. Then select Mail, Contacts, or Calendars. Select Add Account. We're creating a MobileMe account, so select MobileMe. Enter your Apple user ID and password. This is the same account that you use for iTunes. After it verifies your user ID and password, it will take you to this screen and you want to turn on Find My iPhone. So now you've successfully created the MobileMe account. So if this is your iPhone um, 4, then you want to just leave the MobileMe account there. If this is a borrowed iPhone 4, then you want to select the MobileMe account by um, just touching it. That will bring you to this screen and just select delete account. So if this was a borrowed iPhone 4, you're done with the iPhone 4, you can give it back to whoever you borrowed it from. So now that you've created your MobileMe account, you can now go to each of your Apple devices, iPhones, iPads, and iPod touches, and add the MobileMe account to each device. And to do that, you just uh, repeat the steps that we've done so far. You um, Go to settings, uh, mails and calendars, add account, add a mobile me account, enter your Apple ID and password, but leave the account on the device. Uh, by doing this, you're now broadcasting, that device is broadcasting its location um, to the mobile me servers so that you can locate it if it's lost. So theoretically, now you have all of your devices broadcasting their location. So um, in reality, you could stop right here. Uh, it wouldn't be very useful, but um, if you lost one of your devices, you would have to borrow a friend uh, who has Find My, the Find My iPhone app, or you'd have to go online to MobileMe uh, to find your device. So, but it's much more useful to download the app. Uh, so that's what we'll do now. So on all of your devices, um, locate in the App Store the Find My iPhone app and install it. Once you get the app downloaded, you're ready to sign into the app and begin using it. Next, just find the app and select it. Then enter your Apple user ID and password. Next, you'll see a list of all the devices that you added the MobileMe account to in uh, step two. If you select one of the devices, you'll see uh, you have the option to play a sound or display a message, remotely lock the device, or remotely wipe the device um, if the device were to ever get stolen. You can also actually see the device on a Google map um, if you want to actually know where the device is located to try to find it. So I want to attempt to demonstrate how useful this um, app is. Right here I have a 3GS and I have an iPod. Um, so let's pretend I've lost my iPod in the cushions of my couch and um, I can't locate it. So from my 3GS I log in to find my iPhone and I see my iPod listed there and I select play, sound, or send message. Um, I can type a message, but I don't need to because all I want to do is play a sound. So I say send. 
and then on the iPod, even if it's asleep, hopefully it will start pinging you um, so you'll be able to locate it um, in the house. And that's it for this video. I hope you're able to get your Find My iPhone all set up and get it working. Um, if you want to see other videos like this, visit my website 